now we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the Retro Rangers, and we're here with another episode of the Retro Rangers Toy Corner. Am I correct in that, sir? Indeed you are. And this is... I think it's more of a collectibles corner at this point. It's collectibles. It, the toy focus is toys, but we got doing collectibles, and we mentioned that, and I was like, you want collectibles. <laughs> I got collectibles. So it was my dad collected stuff. Some of this is original. Uh, some of this is off screen. We're going to be bringing it on as we do it. But I am Retro Red, and I'm with Retro Go. All right, and we are going to talk uh, Star Wars stuff potentially here. Um, mm -hmm. Side note. Side note. One of the first brothers in space, Lando Calrissian. Man, fuck Lando Calrissian. <laughs> but I had to do the fuck Lando Calrissian. <laughs> you just wasn't. I was waiting me. on it. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's why you did it, wasn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start out today, besides having the, the blackest brother in the galaxy, Boom. besides Darth Vader, yeah. um, we are going to, I'm going to start out with probably my favorite piece, the original soundtrack. Uh, Dad gave it to me, has never touched a needle, to my knowledge, or he said it's never touched a needle, and I'm not going to go saying he has it, it hasn't. Um, and I've done everything I can to keep this thing in pristine, immaculate shape. I almost would like to get it in one of those frame things you can get for records. Big time. Big time. I mean, you kept it in really good. Well, your dad kept it in great condition. Well, I've had it for about, I've had it for about 15 years myself. Very nice. And then we've also got the voiceover kind of thing. It's the story of Star Wars. He said this has played been played one time. So. Tilt it this way. Tilt it. There you go. Okay. Very very nice. There was actually a copy of one of these at Blue Moon, which is one of the places we went. Now, another one, this is another hand-me-down, if you will, which is a Marvel Comics release here. Okay. And, it, as you can see, it's from 1977, very nice. And it's a two-parter of the first movie, or the fourth, we'll call it the first whatever. <laughs> the first. And it's both... I love those pieces. What do you think about those? I have never come in contact with any of those. I think that's actually pretty cool. I mean, I used to collect a lot of comics as as a kid, but never Star Wars actually. I wish I've, I've not as taken as well as carried. I mean, those came to me in kind of rough shape anyway, but I got them from him. I carried them to school with me the ring many times. <laughs> Star Wars. Okay, school. Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars is yeah. much more interesting than school. <laughs> Even in middle school, we played Star Wars the card game. That's how I met most of our friends, is playing Star Wars the card game, the Decipher one, which we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, the next piece is um, this Java beanie bag. It's just, you want to beat someone with it. No, um, it's, he's a sack. Giggity? That's a sack. I'm holding your sack. Uh, you are. Isn't that great? Now I'm fondling your sack. How's that working out for you? Uh, quite well. Okay. And then we've got some of the Matchbox things here. The X-Wing. Very nice. Um, it's ready for the attack run, even with the uh, landing gear up. <laughs> and then we've got the Y-Wing, which is a Y. Like, and then you know what the real question is, is why am I flying this? Why? Exactly. <laughs> no one has a long lifespan <laughs> in one of these things, even though I do love these things. Uh, especially in like the Rogue Squadron games for the 64 and the Cube. I did play that. They actually I was going to say, I'd hope yeah. you would, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what was bad is that the, um, even the 64 one had the Naboo fighter in it. Like, they didn't release that cheat until, like, years later. I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, like, but, and that thing was so overpowered. <laughs> and you would just, like, rape everything in half with that thing. It was what made it so cool. Um, these have been in a box, so they're a little bit, I mean, not, like, the best care in the world, but, you know... These are for all from everything I've got for most part is from the ninety seven releases. Uh, this being as well the damaged snow speeder which came with the Hoth play set, which I've got somewhere. Um, and the land speeder, which does not hover, which I'm kinda of disappointed in that. It does have clear wheels though. Nice. So it can roll. <laughs> um, yet again, the lack of hovering, disappointing. Yeah. Uh, then again, Back to the Future for uh, said we'll have it next year. You got Just some saying. work to do. Yeah. Um, but those are kind of uh, cool pieces there. And then, Very nice. Well, you want to go to the mall mug next? Uh, yeah, let's do the mall mug. I actually like this. It's I just took it out of the box and took the plastic off of it. This is like the second time I've ever had it. I don't refuse to drink out of it or anything. That, I mean, I'm afraid I might like myself. <laughs> so 
He is one ugly motherfucker. Though. Look at that. Oh, that's a face I'm all love. Thing. Okay. Now, this is another one of those X-Wings. This is in box. It's never been opened. It's a little rough shape because I've not really had a place to keep it safe. Yeah. But, I mean, still, it's never been opened. It's complete in box. Uh, not necessarily meant, probably not necessarily as far as worth, probably not worth too terribly much, but neat. Yeah. Uh, you know, having extra, I wish I'd have done this with a lot of other stuff, Power Rangers, uh, Ninja Turtles, etc. Oh, endless. So, yeah. Um, and then we do have, uh... Before you keep going, put that, put that back over there real quick. When you hold it up, tilt it forward, because okay. when you hold it straight it's up, it's back. out glare. Gotcha. So... Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I, yes, this will take you back. One of those McDonald's things that the uh, Happy, Happy Meals Meal came with. Yeah. Out. Holy shit. Yeah. Go ahead and make us feel ancient. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> we 30 in a week or two. Uh, and it's some more of those micro machine stuff the uh, AT8, ATST, the do back, the skate pod, and a bunch of the little figures. Like, even looks like he's in the humping position there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> The Tauntaun, you know, uh, which is, uh, you think they smell bad on the outside. Uh, and then even the little band members, you know. Do, 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 do. Oh, God, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's a very inaccurate size there. For <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, spider strength, I don't know. There you go. Uh, this is in there. It's a card of some sort. Spice. Now, and this is not Star Wars, but it's in here. And when the fuck else am I ever going to be able to take a look at that and point that out? That was out of one of those 25 cent machines or whatever that you would get stuff out of as, yeah. a, you know, as a kid. And I've played with that thing more than any over the years. You usually lose that stuff. That is like the most awesome spaceship. I caught that. Uh, that was the most awesome spaceship, green spaceship. I had a blue one that went with it that was eh. But I just had to point that out. But yeah, that's kind of that stuff, the Falcon. I mean, some of these are different sizes for different setups, but you just kind of want to kind of go over that. Um, Let's say, it, it, by the size of that walker, that the uh, the ATAT -AT is far <laughs> too small for that ATST, unless that's like the super mega ATST. That's like, oh, I'm not even That's know. Walker on steroids. This is your kid on steroids. And then this was a Best Buy um, Black Friday exclusive. That, I've got two of these. They're little tin banks for episode two, the really bad one. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, me and Curtis both got one of those. Now, here is another, which, now speaking of the card game. Take a look at. Um, if you remember the card game, this was the original box. Now, this is not what's in here. We'll get to that in a little while. But I've got... Then Dad has read the crap out of this. It is from the early years. It is a uh, novelization of Star Wars. And this is like the coolest thing ever. They did some Star Wars trading cards even back in the day before it was a card game. And this was never opened. It's kind of come open from age there, but still. Yeah, because I remember having a few singles of those. but Really? Yeah. I got plenty of those. I got plenty of singles, too. You know, on Solo and Chewy, and then Vader about to rape someone, and then these guys that are can cannon fodder. There's cannon fodder. <laughs> but if you put them on the back together, they you know have a picture all that you can kind of put together there. So, and it's a two-player game that me and Mom play tried to play, and neither of us understood the rules. Well, so we visited one day. We tried. To, now there was one time we played it, and we played it like Magic the Gathering. <laughs> And it, it, it worked somehow, but <laughs> I, it was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I can't even. <laughs>